Oh, shit. All right, so this is the third leg of my November trip for 2020, and I am headed to Kansas. I've been in Wyoming hunting Chucker and Huns, and now I'm headed to Kansas to meet up with my brother and chase some quail. This has become an annual thing for us. Um, I think this will be the fourth year in a row that we've been to Kansas, and it's always been a good time. Bob Whites are just a lot of fun, great for pointing dogs, and we always have a ball. Cooper saw him in back. So my brother's got a couple of his dogs out here, and I've got tubs on the ground, and I get an alert that he's on point. Whoop, 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 whoop. Easy. That's where that single was, maybe. Another point. Another point. Shit, dogs. Glad you had a shot, I couldn't shoot. Shit, dogs. Good dogs. Come here, Tubby. Come here, come here. All right, loose, 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 loose. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. There's a the cock. We're only gonna shoot the cocks. <laughs> this is one of those moments that just makes me love quail. I got tubs on a rock solid point here, and I walk in and quail come up all around me. Dead bird. Dead bird, dead bird, dead bird, dead bird. Here boys, here boys, here Tubby, here Tubby, Tubby here. Good boy Tubby, Tubby here. Good boy, good boy, good boy buddy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I kind of thought that was going to be a pheasant, and that's why I went ahead and came in on it. If I knew it was quail, I could have waited for you. Because they sat. They came up in every direction. Yeah, they went somewhat that way, somewhat that way. I mean, <laughs> okay, now I've got my young dog, Moxie, on the ground. And this is her first point on a wild covey. Oh, shit. Shit. And wouldn't you know it, I whiff. I really hate doing that on our first cubby point. Check. This is Moxie again here, and she's doing a point and track and point and track thing. Dead bird! Good girl! God, she tracked a single. That's not easy to do in 75 degree temperatures. Dead bird, fetch. Dead bird, fetch. It's okay, fetch. Fetch it up, fetch it up. Dead bird, dead bird, fetch. Dead bird, fetch. Bury up on you? No, it's just laying there. See, it's right there. She's just, yeah, she's right there. Dead bird, dead bird. Dead bird. It's laying right there. This is what these dry conditions are like. She knows it's, she knew it was there, but she couldn't look at it. Good girl, good girl, here. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. That was a hard earned quail right there. Yeah, it's pretty tough out here today. It's gonna be about 80 degrees 
and it's hot dry kind of been the story of the season for the most part so far hot and dry so we were lucky to get that one it was good work tracking that single across all that so good job girl okay so we found that bird and then we come over about 20 yards and she hits a quick point and we find some more of the cubby Dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird, fetch! Dead bird! Hey girl, fetch! Dead bird! Dead bird, fetch! Hey a girl! Good girl, Moxie, here! Good girl! I don't have a little life in it. Good girl, Moxie, good girl! Hang on, hang on. I get you all cooled off. So when it's hot like this, I like to get water on Good their girl. ears and also their bellies, and that helps cool them off. Having trouble. Then on the way back to the truck here, she finds a couple of hen pheasant. Oh, good girl, good girl. Oh shit. Anybody else? Anyone with long tail feathers in here? Well, that was a nice little round there. Um, it's gotten really hot today. It's 80 degrees, uh, very, very dry. Uh, the wind has come up, so tough conditions, but boy, Moxie sure did a great job. Um, just even, even finding birds and pointing birds in this is, is a, an accomplishment so um she did a great job she um uh pointed two cubbies um and but like at three between three or four different points and um i knocked a couple down um still shooting like crap but i didn't manage to scratch a couple down um and then uh and then she pointed a couple hens coming out and so it was a good round um hopefully we've got some cooler temperatures coming so the weatherman says, but we'll have to see. So this is the next morning and I've got Moxie out here. I don't hit this bird very hard and we have some trouble finding it. So I decided to circle back around a little later and when we did, she found it very quickly. I think sometimes that helps when conditions are tough to give that bird a chance to lay down some scent. Here we've got one of Tom's young dogs on point. We get kind of a weird staggered flush here because this covey is all spread out. Hey, hey. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. Good boy. <laughs> it's on the other side of the fence. He can't get there. <laughs> Good boy, Tubbs. Hang on, buddy. I'll help you. Come down here, buddy. Down here. Tubby, Tubby. Tubby, come here. Tubby, come here. Come down here. Come down here. There you go. There you go. Now you can get him. It's 
It's okay, fetch. Fetch. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. Dead bird, fetch. Good boy, good boy. Come here, Tubbs. Good boy, good boy, come here. Good boy, Tubby. Good boy. All right, loose. That's good boy. Whoa. Got another nice find by Tubbs here. Whoa. 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 Dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird! The other thing is if you don't poof them, they'll bury. Yeah. You got it? Good boy, Tubby! Here! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Tubbs. Good boy. Alright. Oop, 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 oops. Well, that's a young bird. Whoop. 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 Dead bird. Dead bird fetch. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Tubby, here. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Tubby, here. Come here. Come here. All right, Luce. Good boy. That's good boy. Man, it is hot as can be. But he's somehow getting it done. <laughs> you big old goof. You're not made for this heat, are you, buddy? Easy, Tubby. Whoop. Never gonna get this one. Right in the tree. I knew it. No bird, Tubby, no bird. Nope, nope. Like I said, never gonna get this one. That's what I shot. At least I patterned my gun from 10 yards, kinda know what it does. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No bird. <sighs> there is nothing tougher than quail in trees. I mean, they just do this stuff. You've got very little chance. It's hot, isn't it, big boy? Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. I'm still camping here on this trip um, even though I'm here in Kansas where I normally get a hotel room but uh, I've gotten so comfortable with this truck setup that I really just prefer it almost so um, I found a nice spot here uh, that I can kind of enjoy some nice sunsets at night this one's pretty good so anyways we're um, we're scratching out some birds um, it's not spectacular um, but, you know, we're getting a few here and there, and um, it's just, we're probably just working a little harder than I'm, we were hoping for. Um, and, you know, the pups are getting on some birds, but they're not able to make huge leaps and progressions forward just because there's not that many birds around. But, you know, we're still having a good time. We're going to still keep scouting and keep looking and see if we can't, uh, see if we can't find that mysterious honey hole somewhere. Okay, that is the first part of our Kansas trip. It hasn't been real easy between, you know, fairly average bird numbers and some tough scenting conditions. 
we definitely had to work for our birds, but still having a good time. And as usual, we get a little more action in the second part of the trip. So see you in that one. If you're interested in getting more of this kind of content, such as extended cuts, bonus videos, videos on other topics that are related to this, uh, then you might want to check out my Patreon page. Go to patreon.com and search for Eric Forrester, or you can click on the link in the description, and you can get access to all that content.